Checking in, Demarcus Tidwell. Demarcus Tidwell. Short, hit hard, reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for Colorado. Score remains two to two. Vinny Murphy is on now to pitch out of the bullpen Colorado. in the bottom half of the Number eighth. 35. And Vinny that'll bring up a Ledmus Diaz. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2-2 tie. For St. Louis. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Now batting. Now to the plate, Tim Klein. He's one for two in the ball game. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. The left fielder, number 30. At the plate, Michael Conforto. He went down on strikes last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe You're that means we're going to have a double switch here. Geraldo Macias is on to take over on the mound now, and he'll take Number over 16. the cleanup spot in the lineup Geraldo following the Macias. double switch. Now playing Gregory Polanco is into the ball game as well as a part of that aforementioned Gregory double switch as he'll take Polanco. over in the number six spot in the lineup. Ben Gamble is at the plate as he watches ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Polanco sprinting after it. It's out of here and they've taken the lead in the night. Santa Maria. So a solo shot down the line in left. His first homer here in the series as the Rockies move out in front now a 3-2 lead. man he got hurt his second pitch since coming in and he serves one up a reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup let's see if he can rebound a Rodas Vizcaino a right hander no, standing six Cardinals. foot even will take over Number the pitching 30. duties here a Rodas Vizcaino standing in now Manuel Zero. Diaz he's hitless in three at bats to this point Comes set and the 0 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 2. Two quick strikes and now the 0 2. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. Stepping in now, Ralph Kiner. As he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field, that's a base hit. Well, that one right there, he let the ball travel. It got back in on him, but it didn't beat him. He's strong it. enough to shoot it Third the other point. way. Stayed inside Chris. the ball for the base Brian. hit. So digging in now, Chris Bryant. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Your Russell Lee play. will come on now and pinch run here. Number 26, Russell Lee. 
from the stretch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. Well, that stolen base was about as bang, bang as they come. And as show track demonstrates to us right here, it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. One out and a runner on second base. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch outside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Hey, that's not an easy thing to do, steal third base, especially off a catcher like this that has a good throwing arm. The 2-0 on the way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. On oh, a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Oh, that was a tough pitch to lay off of. He took this hack at that slider. He thought it was going to be over the plate. but just kept running away. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And a wild pitch here as this one's to the backstop. And that is going to cost him a run as he'll scamper home on the wild pitch. Man, he's out there trying to throw strikes and give his guys a chance to come back and maybe win this thing. But that wild pitch and the insurance run it allows to score certainly aren't helping matters in the slightest. Payoff pitch on its way. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. That's an impressive swing on a tough pitch. A sinker from a right-handed pitcher going no into the right-handed batter, and he's able to get the bat head out and hit it from the left field. That was really cool. In now, Jamie Rosario. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. No problem over there for Goldschmidt, and there are two gone now. And that'll bring up the speedy Devin Travis. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Oh, and one, here it comes. Shot towards second. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 96 now miles an hour. That's bringing it. Challenged him and he got the base hit the opposite way. I got to give him credit for barreling up. Now, I don't know for sure if he was on time or if he was late. But either way, he got the barrel on it and got the hit. Into the box now. Pat Vlaika as he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. And after all that, he's out at the plate. What a bizarre way to end the inning, but it will end nonetheless. So two runs on four hits here, one error, and two left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Rockies lead this one four to two. Russell Lee will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Here's Jason Hayward now. He'll be the first to bat here in the inning with his guys in need of some ninth inning magic if they're going to force a game five. Roberto Ozuna comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Now the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. So it was a swinging strike three. Jason Hayward is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Gregory Polanco is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. The 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. 
Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Here's the first pitch. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. Hey, that's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. And the Rockies have more baseball to play. They're headed to the National League Championship Series. Well, my advice to them is to enjoy this moment, celebrate with teammates, and then realize that none of it will matter if they don't get back to work in the NLCS. They've wet their beaks with this postseason success. Now they want some more. Well, sometimes that defining moment of the game is the ending. He came in and he erased any hope the opposition may have had. And for that, he's our top player of the game. You know, being a closer is a pressure-packed, tough job to have. So when you go out there and dominate like he just did, it's definitely worth celebrating. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the NL Division Series. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rockies. Four runs on ten hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For St. Louis, two runs, seven hits. With one error, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 48 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Bush Stadium. A sellout of 46,000. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us in baseball heaven and remind you to please drive home safely. Have a good night.